Hello everybody, this is Evan Rogers coming at you with Evan's Easy Japanese, a super exciting experience where we're going to teach you all about the Terraform. And when I say all about the Terraform, that's actually not that true. I'm just going to tell you how to do it and maybe a little bit of what it means. Um, the Terraform in general means you do something and then you do something else. And with different verbs after it, it can have slightly different meanings. Oop, let me close this. And with different verbs in it, uh, after it, it can have slightly different meanings. But generally, if you just keep this in your head whenever you think of the te form, and it's not like te imas or te kudasai or te aru. But even then, those ones do have this meaning. So just keep it in the back of your head in general when you're dealing with the te form. This sentence right here. I woke up this morning, ate breakfast, brushed my teeth, took a shower, and went to school. That little sentence right there shows you pretty much how the te form operates in its completion. You woke up, te form, okite, and then you ate breakfast, also go and type it te, and then you brush your teeth, how me guy, te, and then you uh, took a shower, shawo abite, and then you went to school. Gakko ni ikimashita. That last sentence. The, sorry, the last, actually, it's a clause. The last verb there gets marks the time. And everything before it is just a tef form. So basically, all those little tef forms don't actually have a time until that final what happened hits you at the very end. It's basically just how you make in run-on sentences in Japanese. Or what I just did. That's not a run-on run sentence, but it kind of is. Um, Japanese sentences can do tef forms for a long time. Uh, like what I just did there in English, um, it can do that. If you think about it, that f the five cents I said, um, I woke up, what was it, ate breakfast, brushed my teeth, took a shower, went to school. We can kind of flip that and we can say, I went to school having taken a shower. I took a shower having brushed my teeth. I brushed my teeth having uh, ate, eaten breakfast. I ate breakfast having woken up having woken up waked up woken woke i think it's woke up those that sort of did something having done something else that is a that's a very critical understanding of the te form that being said i'm not going to get much further into what it all means let's just learn how to do it okay okay the te form with verbs very simple in the previous video i showed you how to make all verbs past tense or as we said earlier completed and i also showed you how to do all e adjectives past tense slash complete all you have to do is change the last ta to a te or if it's an nda or a ida or something like that you change it to a de every a single verb follows this pattern every single one of them no matter if it's direct form or distal form ikimas ikimashita ikimashite uncommonly do we see the mas the mas form and the te form the te mas form but it happens and you should be aware that it exists iku itta itte see how the ta turns into a te really we're not changing the ta to a te or the da to a de that's not actually what we're doing. We're changing that last a ah sound to an a eh sound. That That's it. And that should clue you in as to why it goes, I did something and then I did something else. It's kind of past tense in nature. I went to school having taken a shower. Do you feel that past tense sort of it's done feeling in there? This is a very connective idea. Anyway, you just change that last a ah sound to an a eh sound. You're done. You're done. Forget about it. That This is for verbs. This is for verbs. Okay. So, you, utta, itte, taberu, tabeta, tabete, kamimashita, kamimashite, yond, a, yond, e, yonda, yonde. Okay, so, e, a, a, e, a, e, a, e. You're done. That's it. Verbs. Mashita, mashte, nda, de uh shita shite uh kita kite ira shatta ira shatte that's it a to an s sound at the very end okay you're done past tense goes to the s sound 
platform. Sometimes it's called the gerund. I should mention that. Some some textbooks it's called the gerund or the connector or something like that. That's for verbs. Evan, you don't have any past tense verbs on here in the negative. Does anybody know the answer to that question? Why are there no negative past tense verbs in the tev form? It's because all negative verbs are actually adjectives. Except for um, up here, if we do like uh, ikimashita, if we did ikimasen deshita, it would just be ikimasen deshita. But that's actually because des is the is the copula. We're not going to do copulas right now. We'll do copulas in a different video. But adjectives. Just like I just said, they're different. And all negative verbs turn into e adjectives. So, oishiku nai, you might see that. This is just oishiku te. So, uh, after the ku, you just add te. That's it. You remember how we had like iku, i, uh, um, ika nai? It'd be ika na ku te. So, you just change, the, yeah, you just add ku te. Because all negative verbs like ika nai, our e adjectives, you do the ku form. So, ikana ku, then you do ikana kute. Another way to think about it is just all e adjectives, change that e to a kute. If you, if you want to ignore this ku form, that's totally fine. You just change the e to a kute. And it's that simple. It, it, it's like legit that simple. Oishi, oish kute. Uh, oh, and that should be mentioned. She sounds going into a ku sound. Oishi ku, jinakute. They're not oishi kus, they're oishiku. Yasui, yasukute. Ikanai, ikanakute. Nagai, nagakute. Takai, takakute. Omoshiroi, omoshirokute. Tabenai, tabenakute. Shinai, shinakute. Tanoshiku, tanoshi, ah, sorry, tanoshi, tanoshi, tanoshikute. Ah, nasaranai, nasaranakute. Mijikai, mijikakute. Da -da 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 -da. You're all done. That, that's pretty much it. There's one more thing I do want to talk about. You will see negative verbs like ikanai or shinai or tabenai occasionally with de after them, like d e, like a b c d e. It's difficult. Like d as in Dennis and e as in Evan. Easy Japanese. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Evans is Japanese. Anyway, uh, verbs in the negative with the de after them. This is actually a request. Um, the te form generally could be can be a, re a, a request or an order, uh, but in the negative, it's not. Ikanakute does not mean do not eat. Ikanai de. Oh, sorry. Um, ikanakute does not mean do not go. Uh, it means. Uh, I didn't, having not to gone, something else didn't happen, something like that. But if I were to say, ikanai de, it'd be me asking you not to go, ikanai de, ikanai de kudasai. So whenever we do a negative request, it's nai de kudasai. That's the entire video. Hope this was helpful. Let me do my common panhandling. Please, please, uh, spare some change. Um, paypal.me slash evans is japanese if you want to support my channel this is not profitable there's also patreon.com uh patreon.com if you want to use patreon evans is japanese you'll be able to find me uh bitcoin it links in the uh the show description or video description and finally i think that's it peace out guys you guys have yourself a great day peace out